Okay, welcome back to the channel where we're working on this Coyote build, uh, which is a 2013 Ford Mustang, basically, Ford Mustang. And it's all been shelled off to the floor, and we've stuck this 1967-68 Dynacorn structure down on top of it. Now, looking down here, you notice on this rocker, this is the original lower rocker panel for the inner panel for the 2013. This is the rocker for the 67. Now, what we're gonna do, we've got our level and we've leveled up the bottom of the car. So our car is level, left, right, side to side, is perfectly square. So now, rather than worrying about squaring the car up, which it's, it's a little off right this second, what we're gonna do is go side to side. So we're gonna take this right here, and we're gonna get it the height we want it in the front, height we want it in the rear. We're gonna level this top piece right here, which is not level right now, but that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna level it. We're gonna be cutting about an inch down under this rocker, all the way down. We're gonna cut this lower rocker off, and we're gonna tack it to the original 2013 lower pinch weld here. But we, did, we decided we didn't wanna cut this right here up because this is level with the bottom of the car. So if we do cut that off and raise it up higher, you're gonna see that floor pan sticking out below the car and it's not gonna look good at all. And to add strength, I'm gonna leave it and weld this part of the rocker just like the factory to this. And right here in the center, we're gonna reinforce it, build in this right here. Instead of 18 gauge, we're gonna put it in here with 16 gauge steel, which is just a little one gauge thicker than factory. So we're gonna make up the difference and then we're gonna see exactly how it turns out. On the inside, we're gonna be putting a, uh, a 14 gauge steel on the inside, welded to the inner panel of the rocker and to our original uh, flange right here. So that's gonna make both sides solid as can be. Now once both the sides are welded in, then we can worry about the front and the rear section, tying it all together, cutting it where it needs to be necessary. So let's go ahead, we're gonna cut this right here out and show you exactly in motion what we're looking like. So let's go ahead and get to that. All right, I put a one inch piece of tape all the way down this and I've looked down it and checked that it's straight. So that's gonna be my straight edge line. I'm just gonna cut it all the way down that piece of tape. You can see right along there, I've clamped that rocker where I've sectioned it right through there. And now this right here is perfectly level with the bottom of the rock of the car. So this is level. Now, once this is welded all along the bottom, I'm going to take a board across it and I'll be able to form this up to get it level with that and then fill in that gap. Now looking at the side of the car, there's only a three inch raise right here. You can look down and see I can take a quarter inch off the very bottom right here. And then there's your rocker, right down through there. And it's just tacked into place. But that gives you kind of an idea on how I'm doing this 2013, where I'm raising it up for the dash to fit correctly. So you have this whole rocker right here, all the way down through here. It's welded, the factory 67 welded to the 13, three inch space all the way down through here and into the bottom. So I'm gonna weld this solid all the way down and then grind those welds out. And then when we put our side skirt on here, this will be cut out for the exhaust here. So this won't be as noticeable. But there you have it. 